just a quickie, otherwise known as a short. I bought this on eBay. It's an Onic rechargeable battery, uh, 32650, so it's quite fat. 3.2 volts, so that tells us it's lithium iron phosphate. 6,000 milliamp hours, yeah, it's quite heavy. That seems plausible. Made in China. Now, the day after I bought this, eBay sent me a message saying, we've struck the seller off. And um, this was being advertised by a seller who had no feedback. And I thought, well, I quite like this. I'll take the risk. I took the risk and eBay said, because we've delisted the seller, you may or may not get the item. Well, I did get it. There it is. Look at that. It's pretty good. Now, the idea of getting the one with the bolt stud and the little threaded uh, nut, I suppose you'd call it, was so that I could string a load of these things together and build a storage entity, battery, I suppose is a better word, for my shed, my workshop. But the other day I noticed that um, the lithium ion power pack that I have out there had got so cold overnight that it wouldn't charge in the morning because it was below zero degrees. Only It's only happened one day so far, but we've got some cold weather coming up. I'll see if I can capture it on camera actually. So I'm rethinking the strategy of using lithium ion phosphate. I didn't want lithium ion. Phosphate is a safer chemistry, but I'm now starting to think, well, maybe I'll go for lithium titanate oxide because that chemistry, I mean, if I build um, a solar charger for this, I can ignore the low temperature and just charge it anyway. But I think lithium ion phosphate, you're not meant to charge it below zero degrees, same as lithium ion. Um, so yes, I might look at lithium uh, titanate oxide. I certainly want to buy a cell or a couple of cells to experiment with. They're quite big and quite expensive and they're not very high energy density. Um, these lithium ion phosphate are higher and of course lithium ion are the highest energy density. Let's have a quick play with this buck boost converter which I'll connect to my I like this one because it's got the 2.1 mil socket already on it uh, so 12 volts coming in actually it's oh yes yeah, 12.0 uh, I can have anything up to about 36 I think out. Um, I've made some little thin wires I, Maybe they act as fuses, I don't know. But uh, I thought I'd go for thin rather than thick in case I mess something up. Uh, nut and bolt, so let's put this bolt in that end. I'm uh, not sure whether that's three mil. I've got a feeling that might be M4 actually. Um, I'll tighten that nut into there and then just hand tighten these nuts around these little charging cables that I've made. I say this as a buck boost. In fact, it's more of a boost buck because it does the boost first and then the buck. Now, because buck topology uh, has the MOSFET in line, you can shut it off. So I've got over my fear of connecting um, chargeable devices directly to the output of these power supplies. So that's what I'm gonna do right now and it's absolutely fine. I preset that to 3.65 volts because the maximum voltage for lithium ion phosphate I just looked up and it's 3.65 volts. Should we see if that's connected? What's the current one amp? That should be about fine. Uh, so we're seeing 3.34. Now with one amp in these wires, it's likely that the cell voltage is slightly lower than 3.34. In fact, let's see what it is. Let's get a DMM. And it is, if I can get that on there. Uh, so the cell is at 3.3 volts. This is saying 3.35 uh, because there's a little bit of voltage drop in this cable. What current have we actually got? That's on exactly one amp. Okay, well that's what I set it to, but normally it's slightly different. Uh, okay, so yeah, um, 3.3 across the 3.31 across the cell. Or we should also see that that's climbing up because I'm charging it at one amp. Now, 6,000 milliamp hours, that's six amp hours. If I were to charge this at one C, I could theoretically charge this at six amps. 
there's no way I've got uh, well of course I would need something like one and a half amps here yeah I could probably do that uh, this thing would probably get hot and my wires would start to get all floppy so I'm not going to do that I'm going to charge it at one amp but yeah we can see it's charging that all looks fine I'll oh, go on then let's set it to two amps let's get amps whack it up to two amps I'm sure those wires will be fine see if they get a little bit more floppy at two amps uh the voltage discrepancy should now be greater yeah 3.43 here 3.35 there the climb will be quicker more current going into our battery cell it's a single cell but yeah that looks fine are these flopping a bit no 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 they still feel pretty rigid oh they are a little bit warm <laughs> yeah just mildly warm that's nice.